Bonus status ailment chance. That's useless. Well, let's see. One thing I don't like about Grim Dawn, most of the builds come together quick, but there are a few that need endgame max level uh, plus four items. I was I was actually... So I was looking at Torchlight 2 and Grim Dawn mods uh, before... Uh, before I started my stream today, because I honestly might load up one or the other within the next couple days. I'm still, I still want to finish Damon X Machina and do uh, indie game lightning round and roguelike roulette before I go. Plus, maybe some more Demon Crawl because Demon Crawl is really fun. Um, but I wouldn't mind trying to like binge through as much of one or the other. I think Torchlight 2 is a little shorter, so I might go for that. Plus, you know, there's a little bit more of a pressing desire. Uh, because Torchlight 3 is coming out, and I should probably, you know, kind of have the full series sort of on YouTube, just because I will turn into Beef Man. Well, that was cool. There we go. Let's switch back to Bloodman. Bloodman looks kind of cool. Uh, let's see. I think you'll enjoy Torchlight too because it's funnier, uh, less serious and stuff. I I love the art style. Like I think Torchlight's art style will always appeal to me the most. This will be fairly timeless just because, like at this point, realism is starting to kind of. Uh, hit its I'm gonna say it's it's plat uh, realism starting to plateau in the games industry but hand painted textures and cartoonier looks will last so much longer always but yeah, I'll I'll uh I'll probably give one or both a go sooner than later it really depends on how busy I am and how much people are even interested. Because one thing with ARPGs is they, they kind of have a short shelf life on audience interest, and that sucks for me. Because I love these games. They're super good. Whoops. I didn't even notice the barrel. Luckily, there was only one. That could have been fatal. It can't be done. Not even really sure why I'm killing this thing. I guess EXP. We're pretty close to getting the uh, the block retaliation, which actually would be quite good. I passed a cursed chest. I might have. This is the cursed chest here. That's not happening. Holy shit! There's so many enemies. Well, hope you guys like spinning. I've heard it is the neatest trick. One thing I'm a little disappointed with is in this game is they never really properly explained why the Republic has such a wild, uh, wild set of like technology. Like, it seems like everybody else is still kind of stuck in the Middle Age, but they've got like, well, hmm. Because we've seen rail guns and storm cannons and some other things, so. Hello there, friend. Please browse my wares. Every time we come back here, that lady just dies. Every time. The quality on this one is unmatched. It is off-putting. Anything else? Nope. Oh, why am I putting that away? I think I have a number of these already. I guess we'll just sell them to the Mojave. How may I help you? Oh. You can always go see if she's alright. An ARPG. You never you never can actually like interact with the environment apart from just ogling it. That's not how these games work.
Oh yeah, I have Warpath. Oh yeah, I know about that one. Couple of trigger points for verbal lore. Yeah, true. I was actually really hoping they'd give us access to the city builder aspect to this game uh, at an earlier point in the game. I guess it truly is full post-game. It's not possible. So you change the world. It wouldn't be worth the time because you can just go into New Game Plus. Does this really do no ga New Game Plus? I figured it just dumps you in kind of post-game territory where you, you're the... Uh, you're the new king of Storm Smish and uh... I need a breather. Go see the king before you finish the game. We'll do. Is that it? Not even actual treasure chest? The hell. Alright. That was cheap. Oh, right, because that was a kill X, and I killed X before I was even done. Okay. Let's go back to this one. Uh, We're going to do block chance and then loop back around. Because, yeah, what does this even put my block chance at? My block chance is at 80%. Yeah, I'll definitely be able to get that up to 100. Uh, well before I hit max level. And then we'll just work on block efficiency and then hopefully just be invulnerable. Then probably just look into specking into ailment resistance and then just... Bleh, who cares? Yeah, now, mind you, I don't actually block 100% of damage. Block efficiency is a completely separate stat uh, that I have to spec, spec into. And I haven't, uh, but yes, there are some pretty goofy OP builds that you can get later on in the game. Uh, this is the durability one, which also happens to be uh, super glitched out and busted, so it's also one of the strongest. Because it's it's supposed to uh, it's supposed to do, geez, like a tenth. No, not even a tenth. This is supposed to be... I'm doing 100% or 100 times more damage I think that I'm supposed to be able to do with this benefit. Oh okay. my... Okay, time to climb stairs. A lot of them. Okay, good. I was going to be very upset if it was going to be more... Um, more ramparts. Ailment resistance is hard to come by. I think I've mostly seen it in the purple trees. It's supposed to be a 0.5 multiplied by whatever your shield block chance is. Instead, it's 50. I hope they don't change this. Honestly, because, like, this doesn't actually feel that strong. I mean, okay, no. This is very strong. You could probably turn this down. But if it was, like, five times whatever your block rate is, I think that would actually be a much more reasonable... I can't do that right now. I think that would be a much more reasonable, like, amount. Oh, more pastel khaki. Those don't even drop money anymore, which is unfortunate. Oh boy, stairs. I feel like at this point, the main character should be able to just, like, leap up tons. Like, stairs shouldn't really bother you if you're this freaking strong.
Reminds me of the retribution build in Grim Dawn. Added a mechanic where you can take your thorn damage and add it to your attack, and the thorn damage in that game is ridiculously high. That sounds fun. I need a breather. And I'm just getting NRX left and right. It is a little disappointed that there aren't. I, it's a little disappointing that there aren't, like, a bunch of interesting high-end skills in this game. Like, I do appreciate that you do get a lot of uh, access to pretty much everything immediately. But I think some part of me is a little disappointed that there isn't, like, crazy meteor sw swarm style stuff. Let's see. Just go open the gates by your go with your own hands. I want to play more games uh, where like this machinery will open the gate once activated. I want to play more games where it, it really does react to how like ridiculous your character is by the end, to the point where you are just doing weirdly dumb superhuman things, and everybody's just like, "Yep, that's normal for you now." Oh no. Okay. <sighs> what now? Destroy the power core! They're sabotaging the machinery from above. Oh no, you're not. I guess we keep going up. Hey, freaks! Leave that power core alone. <laughs> We have company. Defend yourselves. Like, I want I want the classic Isekai power fantasy nonsense garbage, but with a smooth uh power curve as opposed to just like handing it to the players <sighs> immediately. Just in time. Even if they damage the energy source, the machinery still seems to be working. Kill the stirring one. Destroy the power core. I have Damn. to hold until the main gate opens. Not happening. Bring final peace to the stirring one. We are an unstoppable tide. That's not happening. I'm not killing enough dudes. I'm not getting enough Whoa. stamina here. I do not like that. It's not happening. Okay. I'll manage that right now. Well, we are Legion. We are the new mankind. The blind prince is with us. The more you resist... This is getting out of hand. Not right now. Now I'm pretty fine with this. The more enemies you chuck at me, the healthier I stay. I can't do that. <sighs> we made it. The power core is at full power. The main gate opens.
Okay, how are we doing? And full of areas left. Okay. So I must now face your resentment. I'm glad you found your way back to me, daughter. You still haven't redeemed yourself. There is no redemption for the likes of me. Nor do I seek it. I worry, however, about that creeping darkness that plagues your mind. You created it. Nurtured it. Betrayal will do that to people. Is that so? I spent 15 years mentoring the three of you so that you may survive this harsh world. Survival is all that matters. I failed, Edric. But I didn't fail you, Valeria. Nor did I fail your ascended brother. My teachings are within your every breath because of that simple fact. You pushed death away. You survived. No matter what happened, no matter what happens, the two of you will always be the children of Hemlock, my pride. I... I understand, Father. I will need time, but I understand. Val, you're okay? Yes. Let us push the past aside and move on. We have a fallen to defeat. Where's Ganez? He should be here by now. They must have encountered resistance on the way here. We're running out of time. We need the Hellion. Then let's go. We must help Ganez. We will rescue what we can with Valeria. Child, can you clear the way to the ritual? Every second we save will ease our task. Brother? I will. Get the Hellion. Valeria, on me. I'll see you two up there. This is it. Now to find the conflux. Oh, it's this file set again. But much lighter. I like this tile set. I like the trees, too. Alright, I was going to turn the music back on. It seems like the it seems like the music is actually working now. So yeah, we'll have it on for the last bit. I'd been listening to my own music for at least a little while because there was just no music for uh, some amount. Uh, let's see. Are we talking about Gothic One? I I heard about the new. Uh, the new gothic demo, and I heard it was kind of weirdly rough. I'll probably stay away from it. I didn't like... Eh, I don't know. I might put, put the effort in. I did not like Elix that much at all. I thought it was... It was too slow in the wrong way. I think I'm all, all for slow power curves in games. But when, like, the slow power curve means you can't do anything, then it's probably worth a, a rethink. Might just be me, though. I don't know. I, I remember bad-mouthing Elex just a little bit, being like, man, all of these problems, and people being like, how dare you? It's Anna. Yeah, you just have to do all of the in-town quests first. Yeah, but there was... The problem was, like, there were so many in-town quests, and you had to go from town to town to get some of those in-town quests, but that involved walking on the road that was extra deadly. I, I'm sure, again, if you're super used to it, I think that sort of thing works fine. But, like, yeah, it makes the beginning super boring. And that's my issue. I, From, like, a content creation standpoint, if the first, like, 30 minutes of a game is not interesting, no one's going to want to watch the next 30 minutes. Players might be able to, uh, might be a little bit more interested in that sort of thing, but, like, I had a hard time getting anybody to watch me, uh, say, play Disco Elysium. 
It's a very slow, very good game, but it was definitely like, if my options are between Demon Crawl or, you know, Elex 2 or a roguelike or Elex 2, it's very difficult to go back and say like, yeah, let's, let's do Elex 2. Gotta catch my breath. And I know that's kind of like bad instant gratification um, gaming, but it's like, I kind of have to state my preferences and requirements regardless of whether or not it's actually valid. It's like, yeah, I just don't like like that kind of game. And so I guess that kind of becomes my excuse for why I don't play more of them or I'm not super interested in them. It's like, boy howdy, it would be cool. Boy howdy, I can't do it. Because I definitely got to the midpoint in Elix, but I think my problem is I was already fatigued with what it was and what it what I had to get through to get to that point. That I was just kind of like, and now it's more of the same. Also, I, I don't know. I think the bigger the world, the less interested I am in it, in it after a while. Because it was just like, it was just too much. I, It's strange. Uh, years ago, everybody uh, everybody really liked to rag on Final Fantasy XIII for being just a giant hallway JRPG. But nowadays, I almost kind of wish that was more of an option. Catch my breath. Uh, with a lot of games. Just, you know, put me on a linear path. Give me some fun gameplay in between the uh, the story beats. And I'll actually kind of be okay. That's one thing I'm really digging about this game is there are very few big open areas. And very rarely are they... Um... Very rarely are the big open areas anything other than just a big open linear level instead. It, something I never really liked about Diablo 2 was wandering aimlessly being like, I wonder where the area exit is. And then just kind of not finding it for a while. And so this overall really cuts down a lot of just the random... Uh, Random grabbage. The Final Fantasy XIII's problem is it wanted to play itself and I need more power. barely, uh, only begrudgingly acknowledge the input. You know, you say that now? I think I'd like that. Like, interestingly enough, I would actually love to see more RPGs where you specifically don't, um, where you specifically don't even control your characters in combat. You're just setting up their build. You're customizing their equipment, but otherwise, you just kind of let them loose and do stuff. I know there's, there's a number of idle games I that do that, but the problem is a lot of idle games tend to just be, like, really boring Skinner boxes with no actual content. But, like, I'd almost prefer to just have, like, a lot of the micromanagement purely be, like, preparation beforehand, and then the actual gameplay is just watching the gameplay itself and see the kind of the end result. I like Domina. Maybe I actually never played Domina. But, like, give me some really nitty-gritty, extreme customization, a lot of build variety, and give me no control over it when it's actually put in play. Um, Cause I'd, I'd love to see that from like an RPG perspective where yeah, I have bouts of management and you know, and tweaking and then bouts of just kick, kicking back and just watching the game go. Because, I don't know, I play a lot of... I play a lot of JRPGs just because I do crave kind of ridiculous over-the-top and kind of bonkers stories. And it's rare for me to actually enjoy the gameplay of them. And I think this is true of a lot of RPGs in general. Not not just JRPGs, but JRPGs tend to be the most egregious because they tend to be kind of the longest. Um, but, like, after 20 hours in a game... It has to be a good game to keep my interest. Uh, after 30 hours, 40 hours, like 40 hours is the real 
card cutoff point where I'm just like, okay, just go on auto mode. Uh, so actually, uh, Dragon Quest XI did that, if I remember right. Where you could actually straight up set the entire party on auto. And it was so nice to be able to just be like, oh, good, random enemies. And just let my, uh, my automatically just AI-controlled party members just crush through it instead. I could just sit back and wait. Unfortunately, you had to press A for every single bit of dialogue in the, the actual story cutscenes. Which was just awful. I hated that. I don't know why they did that. Let's see, like Atelier Ryze. Yeah, except for, well, yeah, I guess Ryze is a good example of it to some small degree. Because your AI companions would handle a lot of the combat for you. Eh. PC release of Final Fantasy XII is auto mode plus fast forward. Neat. My yeah. Endurance is waning. Oh. You are you the one I sensed? Am I? Yes. It must be. How could it not? The aura that surrounds you, even those unattuned to the magic of the world, must be drawn to it. I met your kind before. You're a primordial guardian, aren't you? Yes. I am a Nazareth. And I know your purpose here, Ascended. It is mine as well. Arim and Claws at the edge of our world. It will not be long before he clambers from the abyss. His fury spinning over creation. If that happens, I fear there will be no stopping him. Then let's make our way to the Conflux. Together. Certainly. Know that blocking our path is a magical barrier. Fueled by Araman's instruments of fury. There are three powerful magic wielders that have attuned themselves to the barrier. We will need to take care of them first. After that, the barrier should be weak enough for me to break through. My previous attempts were unsuccessful. Guardians, follow the Ascended. Let us cleanse our home. Let's see, Dragon Age might be up your alley. My problem with Dragon Age was it was actually just too long. Um, I know there was a lot of, like, really neat uh, kind of build stuff. My, bi my beef with it was just, like, I'd finish one of the three races' storylines, and I'd just lose all interest in playing any more of it. Um, interestingly enough, I actually really liked how Dragon Age Inquisition had it because I had more fine control over, like, a specific character. But I think that's because it was, like, slightly more, uh... Why I say Spectacle Fighter or Hack and Slash? I don't know, it was... It was slightly, uh, more involved from a, a direct gameplay standpoint, so that was actually pretty good. Personally, I'm probably just going to not touch a Dragon Dragon Age game up until 4, and only if 4 reviews well. I just... I guess I would call it uh, EA fatigue, but, like, I'll play the really good ones, but I'm not really going to invest a whole lot of time into most of them. Uh, let's see. Please, look around. I mean, in general, it's also sure one of those where it's, it is legitimately hard for me to go back to older games for any length of time, especially if it is a long game. Maybe if I did something closer to what uh, Mandalore does with the just like, hey, check out this old game, let's unmatched. let's talk about it. I think that sort of thing can work better. Um, and would probably work better if I wanted to do more really long-form content. Is just put out like one video and then just be like, and I'm done. But, like, truly always, eh, longer a game is, the harder it is for me. Um, like, just to finish my thing about wanting RPGs to play themselves. I just remember by the end of Persona uh, Persona 5 just being like, just just play yourself. I'm here for the cutscenes. Your game, your gameplay bored me a long time ago, and I'll stick, I'll stick with it for the boss fights, but everything else, just let me, just let me zoop through that and not even care.
Oh, the hunger is setting in hard. But we're almost done. We've got, like, maybe two spots left. Unless there's, like, a fourth act, at which point I'm going to, uh, have to probably stop. But I, I'm assuming we're done at the end of here. Certainly hope so. Yep, no, only three acts. Yeah. It'll be nice to just polish this game off tonight. I, again, Here might do some post-con... The passage to the conflux. Then let's move quickly. Araman's instruments have to be close. Lead on. Might do some post-content, but I think a lot of that would honestly just be me uh, playing it on my own silently. Not even on stream, I guess. So you want a visual novel, novel idler RPG? Yeah, kind of. Like, I think the thing is, like, I think there are RPGs where the gameplay really does carry the game. Uh, easiest examples I can think of would be uh, not a JRPG. Very few JRPGs really catch my interest after a certain point. Misguided guardian. Even now, his presence seeps into the world. Can you feel it? The peace he promises. That can't be done. Let's see. But, like, Divinity Original Sin is probably the best example I can think of. Uh, for a game that, like... Uh, where, like, the combat was so interesting that it made up for all of the other game's flaws and also, uh, was the most interesting part of the game start to finish. Um, I think, jeez, I'm, I am actually trying to think pretty hard about what JRPGs had combat that I was super down for. I liked Atelier Ryza mainly because a lot of the combat was just purely in the prep work. You prepped all your gear, and assuming that you were well-equipped, you could just cakewalk through the game, and it felt very good. Um, not necessarily because it, it made the game better, but because, like, it meant the combat never dragged on. Let's see. I wonder if could make a video on some OP builds you can think of. Uh, for this game? Yeah. Uh, I mean, once I hit max level, I'm assuming I could probably just respec freely into whatever I want. That is one thing I absolutely wish Path of Exile would do away with, is I really think PoE should just let you respec on the fly whenever you want, as much as you want. Um, you know, maybe have it cost some money or something like that. Or like, hell, I would pay 20 bucks just to have the ability to do that. I just don't want to start over every single time. There's just an, a huge fatigue wall when it comes to, like, playing those games and just being like, uh, okay, this time I'm going to be this. And it's just like, I don't know. Maybe I just kind of want to be able to flip around and just do whatever. Ooh, max absorption. That's good. Don't need that one as much. Let's grab Banners Held High. What's this? Effectiveness of all other buffs granted by this skill. Ooh, that's good. So a Life Leech buff. That's a good Life Leech buff, too. Damn. Block chance of charging. I don't think I really care. Threat generation. Vortex pulling enemies in is kind of good. Projectiles are deflected. Eh. Oh. I'm gonna try this. No. So the those are actually uh anathemic to each other, so I shouldn't do that. Let's just do bigger spin. POE is just too overwhelming. And like I really really want to get into it someday. Like, really sit down and just do a full playthrough, start to finish, and beat it. It's just like... 
Onward to the Sended. Let us extinguish their fury. You know what? I'll do it for Path of Exile 2, probably. The portal shall open, and your fate will be sealed. I think that'll be... That'll be my... Time to actually sit down and, and put time into Path of Exile. I think also I just need to not stream it. That's the, that's the other real answer. Maybe. Or just stream it uh, compulsively and just say like, eh, your ship's going to be dead for a week, but it'll be worth it. But I think for the time being, I'd rather actually finish... Um, I'd rather finish the... Uh, the games that I can finish as opposed to uh, pine over the one that like kind of has no ending anyway. Maybe also if I could actually get like just one or two other people to stick with it from like a not a serious perspective. Nah, I don't know. I need to meet more streamers. I guess I I got some good friends and I like him, but I it's hard for me to be like let's play game. Because they often have their own thing going on. I need to find some people that are just like, yeah, screw it, let's just play like 40 hours hours of EDF. We must finish this. I can feel the abyss. Araman is coming. <sighs> His fury grows ever stronger. Killing me will not change that. I am so spinny. So yeah, we lose a little bit of DPS for this, but now we've got big spin. That was the last of them. He should be able to break through the barrier now. It has begun. I can feel it. Araman's fury rises with each passing second. Let us press on. You're in a good place to play what you want. I have been very lucky with that over the last couple of years. There's obviously, like, some amount of stuff that I still... Like, there are rules that I have to stick with. Like, don't play too many long games. Especially not at once. Only do one at, one or two at a time tops. Make sure you keep up with random indie games. Uh, don't let city series drag on too much. Don't, uh, don't screw around too much. Uh, but it's definitely one of those where it's like... At a small cost to my, like, growth, uh, my view velocity and whatnot, I can honestly play just, like, any any game that comes out and generally do okay with it. I just have to make sure that I keep, uh, you know, take care of myself and don't, like, burn out too much and then everything's good. But it's very rare to find we other people that can complex. actually do the same thing. Oh, talk to her. Hey. No. You must reach the conflux. More of Ariman servants will come, and you must not linger. I will give you the time you need to halt Ariman's ascension. Thank you, Anna Surat. And ascend it. Yes. Do not fail. I did my part. Get the beams of the sleeper, the aberrant, and the puppeteer converge here. The conflux is near. This journey ends now. Ooh, okay. Get out of here, crit chance. Hello, life leech. One final push. Victory is at hand. Am I what here? Is that? The abyssal portal. It is opening. Oh, yeah, we'll there secure I am. the area. You do your thing. The searing song be with us. <laughs> Of course.
grave. How could you? You really thought Araman could set me free that easily? This is the fallen Duke of Fury you're facing, Valeria. We lost. He wins. Never. No matter the odds. <laughs> You betrayed us for the last time. I will drive my blade through your heart. Show me your wrath. I know your every move, child. I made you, molded you. Let me ease your pain, daughter. Father. I wish there was another way. Hemlock! You just can't accept defeat, can you? Damn! Even if you won, she would fall into the abyss. Your sister is gone. The Hellion is gone. This is all pointless. Fury's ascent is nigh. Submit! There is no giving up on family. Child, you and I don't get to have one. You are an ascended. If you had listened when I exiled you, you would have had time to train and maybe save this world. But you threw all that away to save your sister. She has been holding you back all along. Surrender to my axe. This is a better fate than enslavement. Ah. Uh. That's not happening. She suffers because of you, because of your stubbornness, because of your ego. Okay, where did he go? There he is. There we go. I will break you for her. Break me. You know nothing of my powers. <laughs> Young Ascended. A pointless struggle. Okay. He's Don't starting to see? get there is no primordial to save us now. That's not happening. Where is Anathea? Where are her lights? She is alive. Back was right, you can't change the outcome. Take care of him! We must close the portal now! You can't stop Fury's ascent. I can't. She will. I will 
obliterate you! You and I aren't finished. Round three. You will pay for your insolence. Shield yourself in her lights. Wow, I did a lot of damage to him very early on. Well, screw it. Push back, Araman. Okay. Well, it's working. The portal is waning. It's over, child. He we will prevail. Is it? Like I'm kicking your ass, Father Dearest. You got nothing on Tentacle Slash, man. What am I doing? Oh. Thank you, child. Daughter. Uh, talk to Hemlock? Oh, here we go. together now he is here Ganez almost there I could feel the portal waning damn uh rerolls all magic effects when using an item consumed all socketed gems to guarantee a magic effect whose power depends on the gems level hmm. okay wisdom ferocity toughness agility all attributes I guess I should look at the other things. So, Elemental Resistance Occult, mm, that's pretty good. Extra damage to attacks, I like that. None of these give block, I'm assuming. Extra Rage Generation on hit, that's not a bad one, but that's attacks and spells. Yeah, let's go with that. Yeah, just raw damage to attacks is super good. What's up, Genie? Oh no. What's happening? Ganesh, what's happening? Araman is splitting to get a part of himself through the portal. Faster. Into the sister. She won't make it. Close it now! For the searing song! There's no giving up on family.
Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what they're going to do. I kind of wish they actually had, like, a legit full ending, but whatever. I mean, judging by the sheer number of players playing this game right now, I can't imagine that they won't continue this story. I don't know if they'll do a paid expansion or what, but, like... It would not surprise me if, um... Okay, the end game starts and has more story. doesn't make super sense with their chosen ending. Huh. Alright. Well, we'll see how it goes. This very much does not feel like a game that just hit 1.0 last week. Like, this is very much a game that is... not done. And, you know, I can definitely see they're planning on having more than this later on. But... For now, it's kind of an okay ending. I was hoping it would be better. Oh well. I still liked it. I still liked the lore. I liked the idea of a lot of these things. It's just... Yeah, not done yet. Oh well. I gotta say, though, a lot of good things about this game. Just hope they finish it off in a satisfying manner, or just keep going, because, yeah, I assume they have enough to make a Wilson too. Alright, Champion of Stormfall unlocked. Congratulations, you've completed Wilson's campaign. Champion of Stormfall game mode has been unlocked. Uh, let's see, so I'm just gonna hop into it with Brawlberry. We'll see how this goes. I wonder if I can uh, start a new character just in Champion of Stormfall mode. But they sold at least six uh, hundred thousand copies. They had a peak of over a hundred, uh, two hundred thousand people. They had a stupid amount of people playing. Oh, you need to change the mode. Do you? I said I was in the mode. So, but like their current peak is like fifty thousand plus. So they sold way more, way more. <laughs> 